Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Stillwater Creek. We have just talked with Hannah. Hannah was very nice to listen to us about our problems with the dreams. Even though I know my, st my brain is still completely fucked up, I feel a lot better after that. And I can't help but feel that most of that is due to my newfound closeness with Hannah. I guess I'll just have to take her advice and wait this out. Time is the best healer after all. Does that mean we're going to have a dream about her now? Oh, Hannah, put your hands on it. Chapter 6. Oh my, what the fuck? B barbecue lol what? Ellipses. 3, 2, 1, and time! Everyone put your pencils down and stop writing. It is the day of the test, and despite the fact that it is finished, everyone still looks completely stressed out. Personally, I thought the test I wrote was pretty fair, but maybe I'm not as good at test writing as I thought. My suspicion is confirmed as such when the students hand their test to me, and they look incredibly uncomfortable about it. Even Hannah looks a bit unnerved. Well, everyone except one person. When Jack hands me his test, he couldn't look happier. Uh, Jack? Yeah, yes sir? How did you find the test? On my desk? I mean, good I think. It reminded me of the time I ate cereal with a zebra. Uh, okay. Of course what he said uh, requires no additional explanation, so Jack goes back to his seat. What if Jack really just has an exciting life? What if, like when school's not in session, he's in a safari in the Serengeti, you know? I guess we'll see how he and everyone else did when I mark these over the weekend. Still, I'm thoroughly intrigued by Je how Jack may have done. Alright guys, you're free to go to lunch. Everyone goes off into their normal groups and leaves the class except the usual three. Gee sir, you don't have to make it so tough. Yeah, that was really hard. It was rather, rather challenging. Okay, okay, I get it. Everyone found it hard. Uh, I take that into account when I mark them over the weekend. Well, that cheered them up. If you're marking them this weekend, does that mean we'll get them back on Monday? I guess, yeah, probably. Oh, that's great. Oh, is it? Is it really fucking great? Did you need it that badly? Uh, mind you, I've been thinking. Huh? Everyone seems to think that the test was really hard, except for Jack. Does he normally do well on tests? Wait, I've been in the school for months, right? Weeks? How do I not know at this point? How do I not have some sort of clue? He never really talked about it, actually. He always dodges the subject by saying some completely incom incomprehensible thing the way he always does. Yeah, any idea why he does that? I have no idea. No one does. It's just what he does. I mean, it's Jack. Jack. Just Jack. I see. Um, so do you think you know how Jack and Victor are getting on nowadays? Pretty good, I think. They don't seem to argue at least or anything. The girls start nattering away to themselves about Jack and Victor for the rest of lunch. Is that when I just tune out? Oh, girl talk. Ignore. Think about monster trucks. And hockey. Choose. 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 But I don't know what you mean. How is Louisa a part of this? I barely talked to her. I would have understood if Hannah or Jessica was. Well, you've been choosing all along, haven't you? Yes, all your life. Oh, damn it. Every action has a consequence, after all. How's this relevant? Why are you haunting me, foul ghost? We're not haunting. We're trying to help. Everything you've done so far will come to a conclusion. And that conclusion is coming soon! Very soon. Very, very soon. Hey, come back. Well, except for the whore. Come back! Ugh, I fell off on my couch again. Uh, these nightmares have become very common nowadays. Jennifer, Alice, and Louisa are a combination of them talking about choosing or something like that? Why do I have the hots for Louisa? She's annoying! I still have no idea what it could all mean, but I'm not bothering myself with it too much. I've been doing what Hannah suggested by waiting it out and trying not to think about it. To be honest, it hasn't really worked so far, though. It's been only a couple days, and I wasn't expecting immediate results. Uh, maybe I'll be back to normal in a couple of weeks. Ellipses. I suppose I'd better get back to sleep. Despite the fact that tomorrow's a Saturday, I still have to spend a lot of it marking those tests, so I need to be well rested. Saturday, Saturday, my Saturday sad. True to my word, I find myself stuck in marking these papers. I've done most of them, but they weren't nearly as bad as the class seemed to be expecting. Everyone was in the 70 or 80% regions. Well, Carla got 67 and Hannah 94, but Carla's still a respectable score, and I wouldn't expect anything less from Hannah. Now to move on to the last paper I need to mark, Jax. Well, can you blame me for saving the best to last? You can't see me right now, but I'm face palming. I am face palming. Our teacher, Scottish Paul Me teacher, 
has so little to do on the weekend that I save one student's test for last. Oh, this is the last one. I can't wait to read it. That's the guy who likes Wayne. I do like Wayne. I open up his paper to begin mocking. What? Wow. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. I'm sure there are bits of math in here. There are also a lot of doodles. A lot of random numbers written in logical places. Wait, this looks like an answer to an English question there. Well, I better start to try and make sense of this. Nope. That one's wrong. That one too. Well, maybe I can give him a mark or two for that. No, not that though. Oh my god, is this a naked sketch of Victor? I don't need to see that. Is that his wang? Whoa, that kid is hung. Wow. God, that's something I didn't need to see. I continue working through his paper, but I'm concerned at how many marks he's losing compared to how many he's gaining. 37%. Oh man. After breaking down everything Jack had written, that's the best mark I can give him. I can't believe it. And it's not as if my test was super hard after all. Everyone else did well enough. Well, Jack was the only one who said the test was fair. I have to talk to him about this on Monday. This is just not good enough. Oh, maybe he's in over his head. Maybe they passed him along when he shouldn't have. Hey, it's the bench. It's Victor's bench. I need help. A lot of help. Admittedly, not as much as you, though. Uh, what's that mean? Has your choice become clear yet? Um, uh, what? No? Oh, well, it will soon. In the meantime, however, you're going to have to help me. But be careful. You never know what might happen. Uh, hold on, wait! What do you mean? What does any of this mean? Jack! I've got to get cable. Well, that was strange. All my dreams have involved a combination of Louisa Allison and Jennifer thus far. But no one else. It's the first time Jack's shown up in my dreams. There's a lot of emphasis on choosing this time. Well, there's, oh, there's also less emphasis on choosing this time. Mind you, that could be a good thing. Because Jack showed up due to his crappy test, no doubt. And if there's more of an emphasis on that than the whole choice thing, then that may mean the choice thing is on its way out. Still no nightmares would be better. But you take what you can get. The good, the bad, baby steps and all that. I'm sure it'll all be over soon. Ellipses. Oh well, time for the usual routine of going back to sleep so I'm well rested as possible for work tomorrow. I do not want to end up with Jack. Nothing against the guy, but that's Victor's boy. I do. Finally, my class with the 12th graders is coming around, meaning I can hand these tests back. I somehow managed to resist all the interrogation methods the girls threw at me over lunch, so I'm pleased that everyone will get their marks back at the same time. But I couldn't tell them their grades at lunch. Like it was a big fucking secret. I would have bet my life on Hannah arriving first. Are we definitely getting the test back just now? Yeah, cool your britches. And asking me that again. Yeah, definitely. I told you at lunch! Now go sit down. Honestly, you're like a puppy at Christmas. Adorable! Oh, I'm excited, that's all. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Man, the sooner I give these tests back and Hannah goes back to normal, the better. Get her off my ass. Okay, the rest of the class is here. Might as well begin. All right, many of you guys know you'll be getting your test back today. Y'all did pretty well. Well, most of you did, so great job. The class definitely looked relieved when I said this. Maybe they actually believed they did badly and it wasn't an act. Anyway, I'll hand these out just now, and if you have any questions or anything, then you can ask me about it. I start walking around the class giving out the papers. Everyone is rushing to open their papers to see what they've got. Well, except Jack, who just stares at his closed paper. Jack? Yeah? You're not going to check your mark? Yeah, I'll do it in a minute. Actually, that's what I was like in school. Not the spaced out thing, but I get papers back and I would just throw them away. They were like, what are you getting? I don't know. I don't care. And I sometimes have very good grades. Sometimes I want it. Ah, okay, Jack, whatever, man. But I can, see, can I see you after class about your test? There are a few things I want to talk about. Yeah, sure, man. I decided to leave it at that. I might as well deal with the students I actually know how to deal with before moving on to Jack. But I don't get why it isn't worth a mark. Oh my god, Hannah. I've already bumped your score up to 96. What more do you want? Well, I can't help being a perfectionist, can I? Yeah, but I can't give you full marks when you made a mistake, okay? That's how you learn. That's the point of it. Ah, uh, fine then. I just realized I spent the mass vast majority of the lesson arguing with Hannah. Oh, well, at least everyone else looked like they didn't want to talk about their marks anyway. All right, y'all free to go. See you tomorrow. Everyone begins to head out the door until I remember something. Hey, Jack. Uh, yeah, sir? I wanted to speak with you, remember? Uh. 
He just stares at me blankly. Yeah, you do remember, don't you? No. <sighs> well, can you come here, please? I'd like to talk to you, maybe? Oh, okay. He makes his way over to my desk, and I make sure the class is empty before I can begin to talk to him. Uh, so, Jack, uh, what do you think of your test results? Uh, they're okay, I guess. Why, is there a problem? Well, your mark was significantly lower than everybody else's. Uh, is that a problem? Uh, wait, what? Well, of course that's a problem. There's no way you'll pass your final exam with a grade like 37%. This subject has a final exam? Uh, I instinctively hit my head off the desk. Or on the desk? Oh! I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to say? Yeah, Jack, there's a final exam. I'm afraid you'll fail if you don't seek some tutoring. Oh. It's okay, I don't need a tutor. Seriously? Can I ask why you don't need it? Well, 37% compared... It's really good compared to my other subjects. Jack, have you ever passed an exam? I think so. I I'm not too sure, though. How did you get from... How did you get passed along? How did this kid get into my class? Listen, come here tomorrow and I'll try and help you out with your test, okay? But I don't really need the help. But you really do. No. I really don't. Whoa, he looks super serious now. Jack, is there anything you're not telling me? Uh... He just stares at me, visibly shaking. Whatever I said, it must have really offended him. Uh... Okay, I'll come by tomorrow and we'll look at my test. I need to go by now. See ya. Hey, wait, Jack. But he's gone. Uh, wow. That has to be one of the strangest experiences of my life to date. It was almost like one of my dreams, except it was reality. Man, this is all fucked up. Fuck knows what tomorrow will bring. Hopefully he doesn't shoot up the school. Hit, hanging out on the roof. I told you to be careful, but you're not listening. If you carry on like that, who knows what'll happen. You're not going to haunt me about choosing tonight, are you? That's not my job. Besides, it's too late for that now. You've already made your choice. You're just now waiting for the consequences. But you have to be careful with what you're about to go through now, or you'll never escape the nightmares. It's just a dream, Jack. I'll get over it soon. You'll see. You just watch, Dream Jack. Uh, really? Man, these dreams are getting weirder and fucking weirder. I can't believe it. I have absolutely no idea how to interpret them. Uh, wait, no, I'm not supposed to be interpreting them. I'm supposed to be just ignoring them. They're just stupid dreams after all. Nothing I can do but think about it, get out of my life. Plus, Dream Jack said the, you know, the die was cast... What is done is done. At least that was Hannah's advice too, just to forget about it. Uh, anyway, I think I better get back to sleep. Sleeples, sleeples, everybody, I'm sleeping. Oh. Uh, so, um, do you understand how to do this kind of question now, Jack? Uh, nope. That's pretty much been his response to everything I've said during this tuition session. I mean, we've been at this an hour now, and that's the only word he's said. Absolutely nothing's getting through to him. So what is it you're not getting? I don't know. I just don't get it, that's all. Seriously? But there must be something else you can give me, dude. There's only so much I can do when the only things you're saying to me are nope and I don't know. Uh. He gives just a rather large sigh. Uh. I didn't want this, remember? Why does he have to do that stupid face for everything? Look, Jack, I know you don't think you need the extra help, but as your teacher, I think you do. There's nothing you can do. I'm never going to get it. Come on, Jack, I never said that. But you're thinking it. I can tell. The voices are telling me. The, the voices? I mean, I always had my suspicions, but... Jack? Are you, are you alright? I'm fine. I'm just a dumb shit who doesn't understand anything. I'm a guy who even his boyfriend thinks is pathetically stupid. God, he's really getting worked up over this. Listen, Jack, I no one thinks that of you. Oh, I'm just lying to him. There are people who think he's stupid. I said so earlier in the Let's Play. Now, why don't you just calm down so we can try these questions again? I don't need your fucking questions, okay? Jack? No, I'm done. I'm fucking done. He runs out of the classroom, so I chase after him. 
Shit, where could he have gone? Wait, the the roof! The door is wide open. The roof? The fucking roof! Oh shit, those fucking kids on the roof! I see him standing at the edge of the roof, pushing his body against the railing. Jack! Uh, he turns around to face me. What do you want? I don't know what you think you're doing, but can you please just calm down? We don't need to do every... Uh, we don't need to ever do any tutoring sessions again, okay? If you don't want to be tutored, we don't have to. Just please. It's too late. No one cares for me. No one loves me. That's a line you know. What about Victor? And What about your family? Superficial fake love. I know what they think. I'm just stupid. Nothing but a stupid, worthless maggot. No one wants me. What's the point? Jack. He starts to run towards the roof's edge. Jack, no! He's... He's gone. He just... No! Wow. That took a... Wow. That escalated quickly. Asperger's Syndrome. Turns out Jack had Asperger's Syndrome, and unfortunately just cracked at the wrong time when he had access to a roof to throw himself off of. He wouldn't have had the key if it wasn't for me. I don't know about how he got into the high-level classes. Maybe his results were better last year? Either way, Allison didn't mention it to the police. But still, a student suicide? Jack's blood will be on my hands for the rest of my life. I didn't even get the choice to tutor him or not. I better take this tea I just made to Allison before it gets cold. Uh, I said she could stay for a while for a drink. The suicide was draining enough, never mind the police interview afterwards. Here you are, milk and uh, two sugars. Thanks, Paul. Uh, there's a moment of silence. You know, I can't help but feel guilty about this. Well, you know, we do have survivor's guilt. That is normal when someone commits suicide. The people around them tend to often blame themselves. I mean, I know you didn't know Jack had Asperger's, but I deliberately hid that from you so you treat him the same as the others. And you were just trying to help him get better marks, so... Yeah, it's not your fault. I'm the one that pushed him too hard. And made Jessica friends with the rest, so there was a key to the roof. And then encouraged him and Victor to be friends, and then they went on the roof for sex. And then he knew how to access the roof, so if he didn't know me, he would still be alive. Oh, did I mention I pushed him too far with the tutoring? I guess it was a number of unfortunate events combined for a horrific outcome. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to telling the rest of the class tomorrow. Especially Jack's boyfriend. He's going to be devastated. Yeah, I'd give him the day off if I were you. Yeah, I was planning on doing that. Man, this is fucking messed up. The whole thing is tremendously unfortunate. Yeah, only a few months on the job and I've got a student suicide on my hands. I was doing so good. I was helping people. I cannot believe this. Uh. Anyway, I better get going. It's been a long evening and I could use some rest. Thanks for the tea, Paul. Hopefully next time we'll meet under more fortunate circumstances. Yeah, we can only hope, Allison. And Paul, try not to take this too badly. It wasn't your fault, seriously. Well, it wasn't yours easy either, so don't lose any sleep over it, okay? You neither. I show Allison out before heading straight to bed. I don't care what time it is, I'm completely exhausted after this whole affair. And frankly, the sooner this is all behind me, the better. She should have told me. She should have told me, alright? Ellipses, why am I in school? I told you. I kept telling you, but you wouldn't listen. And now you have a student death on your hands. I'm sorry, Jack. I was only trying to help, okay? But I told you not to, remember? On several occasions as well. I didn't know you had Asperger's Syndrome. What was I supposed to do? Nothing. Now... Now my blood will be forever on your hands, and I will never leave you alone. I will haunt your nightmares forevermore. Great. Come on, Jack. Please don't. Jack? Jack! Ah, oh, great. You know, it's almost funny. As soon as I get over one nightmare of one student, uh, one nightmare, one student commits suicide, and now I'm haunted by another. I think it's going to take a lot longer to get over this one. I mean, before my brain was just being stupid, but this, I'm going to need to get sleep whenever I can, as I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot for the next while. Damn it. I did not think it was going to be that way. 
<sighs> everyone begins to filter in for registration, but somehow it all feels different. Maybe it's because everyone is chatting away happily. So none of them know anything about Jack yet. I wonder how they'll take the news. Probably not good. All right, everybody's here. Might as well get started. We should have took Victor aside privately. I think I ought to tell Victor for separately from the rest. Of course. Hey, Victor. Uh, yes, sir? I need a word with you outside, please. I'm sure. Um, so what's this about? I haven't done anything wrong, have I? No, Victor, you haven't. Um, I got some really bad news. Oh? I... God, how do you tell a kid that his boyfriend's committed suicide? You know, Jack, did you know he has Asperger's Syndrome? No, but why does that make a difference to anything? Well, his Asperger's took a funny turn last night. He went completely crazy and, um, well, he threw himself off the school roof. Victor, I'm afraid Jack is dead. Uh, uh oh, I, wait, what? Jack committed suicide last night. I'm, I'm so sorry, Victor. I, uh, I I'm, I'm just so shocked. Would you like the rest of the day off? I, I can only imagine how hard this is for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get going. Don't go to the roof, okay? We're not going to have another one of these. Don't go to the roof, okay? Take as much time off as you need, okay? Um, y yeah, yeah. By the way, um, thanks for telling me. There's no one else I'd rather hear it from. Well, obviously, I, I wouldn't want to hear it, but... Yeah, I know, Victor. It's okay, man. Just uh, stay strong for everyone. No, don't tell him to stay strong. That's bullshit. If he needs to be sad because his love died, let him be sad. Um, I'll do my best. With that, he heads off out of the school. That went better than expected, but I imagine it hasn't fully hit him yet. I hope he'll be all right. Anyway, I better tell the rest of the class. <sighs> I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. The next episode, I'm going to stop and tell the rest of the class that, um... Jack killed himself. Hopefully Carla doesn't like blame herself for the homophobic stuff. But I'll save that all for next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.